Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 112. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. Hey, this YouTuber had a question about VLOOKUP. I'm going to click in this cell and hit the F2 key to put it in edit mode. All that this person wanted to do was take this math score, look it up in the first column of the VLOOKUP table, and then return the grade from this column. Now here's the problem. If I hit Enter, 68, if you scroll down here, is right there. And 9 is the score, so that one worked. Oh, OK, that's fine. Now 64, if you scroll down here, uh-oh, it's 7. And it's returning 5. So what is the problem? The problem is very simple. I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Then I'm going to put my uh, cursor right here. And I'm going to click on the F of X button. That will open up the insert fun uh, the functions argument. And here's all the arguments. And it's very handy sometimes to read everything in this dialog box. Because this problem could have been avoided if uh, we read if we click in the table array, uh, is a table of text numbers in which the data is retrieved. Table array can be a reference to a range, a range, or a range name, which this is where the problem is. But notice the description is not there, so we have to keep going. Column index number is not there, but look at this. Range lookup is a logical value to find the closest match, which is an approximate match in the first column, sorted in ascending order. So by definition, you must have this table sorted in ascending order. Click OK. So if we come over here and simply uh, click, and this table is isolated, meaning it's not touching anything else. So if we simply right click sort in 2007 or click on the A to Z button in 2003 on the uh, toolbar, it'll automatically sort ascending smallest ascending smallest to biggest. And sure enough, now that works. So that was the only problem. So you've got to be careful when you're doing VLOOKUP. This table has to be sorted in ascending order. Now wait a second. Let's go back over here and click F2. This argument right here is the range lookup. If you put a 1 or true, it means it will find approximate values. Let's see what that approximate means. When you scroll down here, if you have a score of 71, you want it to return 9.5. You see how there's some values between this one and this one? So it's not looking up exactly 70, but it needs to look up everything less than 73 or equal to or greater than 70. So that's what that approximate means. So when I go back up here and hit the F2 key, that one means approximate. Now, if you were looking up exact values like words, or these were all exact integers, um, and these were exact integers too. Then you could put a 0 there and it would look up exact match. So if you have a 1 here, table's got to be assorted in sending order. All right, we'll see you next time.